this video, you're going to be using Casey for your blush, Lindsay for the bronzer, your short buffer kabuki brush, and your medium eco-friendly blush brush. Hi! Guess who's back? So we're going to start off with using our white buffer kabuki brush for our bronzer. Uh, just showing how good it feels. So there's Lindsay. There's the amount that you need on your brush. Um, just doing half my face just so you can see how it looks and how it looks on my hand. I tap most of it out and then I'm going to kind of move my brush around on my the back of my hand to spread out the bronzer so it's not just one clump in that one spot on the brush. Now you're going to use the rule of three and you're going to see how I'm making a three on the side of my face. You notice that when I started with the brush I didn't just put it on my face. I put it on the side and gently let the, the bristles come down and meet my face. Because wherever you first plant your brush, like on your face, that's where you're going to have the most color show up. So you want to kind of avoid that so you don't have like a big brown spot, you know, in the middle of your head. And just showing what it looks like on the back of your hand, what's like on the brush, and, and there I am showing you. Don't just slap it on your face there. Go at an angle, let it come down naturally, and we're making the three, and I'm going upwards and downwards, and now here's the one, because when you're putting on your bronzer, you want to do the rule of 13, which is a three on each side of your face and a one down the center, and that way you're guaranteed to hit all the places that the sun would naturally hit. And of course, I look at myself on the video, and I look at myself in the mirror, and now I'm showing you what it looks like. And if it's not dark enough, you just keep going. Oh, no, actually, I was putting it on my ear. Okay. <laughs> so now that we're done with the funny, I want to emphasize blending it onto your ear and onto your neck. That just keeps with uniformity. Uh, I was just showing you what it looks like with and without. And again, the rule of 13. So you want to go down the center of your face and on the chin. That's where the sun would naturally hit you, so stand to reason that's where you'd be tanned. Oh, now we're doing Casey. Okay, this is the blush part portion. That's what it looks like inside the jar. Now we're using our medium uh, blush brush from the Eco line. You can see I'm just touching it. Like You don't need to really jam your brush into that jar there. Uh, so you can see that there's just a teeny weeny bit, and I put it into the lid of the um, pigment jar just because I feel like there's too much. So... Then we're going to go on the back of the hand and spread it around just like we did with the kabuki brush because, of course, you don't want that um, one spot of intense color. And so we're going to smile to bring out the apples of our cheeks. And we're going to start on the hairline. And you'll notice that I touched the hairline first just because, again, you get that of color the first place you touch. And then you go down, like down towards the apple of your cheek. And always smile because that's how you're going to naturally blush your face. Like so it's going to look natural. And if there's not enough, you know, always start out with a little. Because you can always add more makeup. It's always hard to take off makeup. And we're going to smile again, start in the hairline, and come down. And so we're just, I'm just lightly going over that. Like, I uh, think... I think it looks like I'm going at it fiercely, like just pummeling it into the skin, but I'm really not. I'm barely touching my face. And so always look at yourself in different lights because you're not going to stay in one steady stream of light anyway. Uh, sometimes I do the temple a little bit. I don't know, just something, a habit I've gotten into. So there it is with, and there it is without, without, not bad. Looking good, kid. You did good. You can get all the products used in this video at www.splash. Thanks for watching.